Proportionality question. You must, must read the question really carefully. I suggest you use a highlighter to highlight everything that's t that you're told. So first of all, you're told that V is, first of all, inversely, and then it's inversely proportional to the square of T. Read it really carefully. OK, so let's just write that down then. It means that V is proportional to, remember if it says inversely, then it's 1 over the square of t, well that's t squared. And if we write that as an equation using k, that's the same as v is equal to, we always write the constant there, times 1 over t squared. And it's easier if you write that as v equals k over t squared. OK, we are asked to write v in terms of t. So we, here we've got v in terms of t, but we need to find out what k is. And we do that using the information that we're given. So we substitute that into this equation. So first of all, v, well, instead of v, I'm going to write 28 is equal to k. We don't know what it is. And then t squared is 2.5 squared. Now, if I just rewrite that, so 28 is equal to k um, sorry, we're going to now multiply both sides by 2.5 squared. Um, 2.5 squared is actually 6.25, so we've got 28 is equal to k divided by 6.25. And if we want to work out what k is, then I'm going to multiply both sides by 6.25. So on the left-hand side, I've got 6.25 times 28. And on the right-hand side, k. And if I now work that out, k comes out as... 175. Now, don't write the answer k is equal to 175. You go back to this stage here. Instead of k now, I can write 175. So v is equal to 175 over t squared. And that's the answer to part a. Part b now says work out the value of v when t is 6.25. So I've got my equation. I know that v is equal to 175 divided by t squared. If I now substitute that in, t is 6.25. v then is going to equal 175 divided by t squared. Well, t is 6.25, so 6.25 squared. If I work that out on my calculator, it comes out as 4.48. So v is 4.48.